What's going on guys? Today we're doing some offshore fishing. Finally, I've been working the boat show the last four days at the Palm Beach International Boat Show. Also meeting all of my fans. You guys are awesome. But now it's time to do some real hardcore fishing and just to see what we can get into today. Let's go. How you doing Frank? I'm doing great, thanks. B, how are you doing? We have no radio. Frank says he's going to sing today. Ah uh, yes, you can regret that. Here you go Frank, here's a nice hat for your head. Thanks buddy, appreciate that. You're the best. <laughs> It's on, it's on backwards, Frank. You gotta see the tough line. Is that nice. good? You look good. We're out of the Boynton Inlet. We have lines in the water. We are fishing. Uh, it looks really fishy out here. A little bit on the bumpy side, as you can see. <laughs> We're all over the place. That's when you catch fish. More wind, more fish. Yeah. Little bit of a chop out here. We're just rocking Whoa. back and forth like crazy, but um, there's not for bass guys. No, <laughs> but we've got lines in the water. Like I said, we got four lines out with live goggle eyes and a pilcher. Oh, there's fish jumping right here. Um, and yeah. yeah, we also got a pilchard out short, and we're just bumping our fish along slowly and just covering um, some depth. So we just went from 100 to 300, making a turn, going back in, and we're right out front at the Boyan Inlet. So, uh now we just gotta wait for a fish, and we're fishing during the major or the minor. Yeah, that's yeah. Like I've been telling you guys, we kind of slept in this morning, and like I mentioned, we've been following those solitaire tables, and so we're right now in a major on the new moon. So according to the charts, it's supposed to be like the awesome time to fish. We got a northeast wind about ten knots, so it's really a good. Everything looks good, but we don't have a fish yet. But we just got here, so anyway, everything is in in the right direction. Okay, it's time for an update. We've been fishing about an hour and a half, and we haven't even had a bite yet. I did lose one bait. The only thing going good is I like Frank. I love Frank's hat. Show him how to get it, Frank. Tough line. Anyway, I'm going to turn this update into a little bit of a rant about Boynton. I just think Boynton's the worst place to fish in the whole in the whole state of Florida. I, I am out here during a major time. Uh, on the full on the new moon, not the full moon, new moon, major time, one to three p.m. today, major major. Wind Got north days. northeast wind about ten knots. Been blowing out of the east hard for a couple days, so that's been steady, blowing everything in supposedly. The water is freaking crystal clear. There's a bunch of scattered weed around, but that mess up the lines a little bit. But it's not that bad, and it's also good for holding bait and fish. Everybody knows, so it's not. I'm not complaining about that. I don't understand how I can pull live baits. From 100 to 300 for two hours during a major in front of Boynton under those conditions, and that got to fish. We're not even going to bite. It's, pathet it's pathetic. On a Monday, you have anything to add, Sizzle? I agree. She agrees. I guess I'm with Frank, but he's going to give me a. I, I concur. What do you say, Frank? Holy shit, tailfish guy, in right here. Right here in front of us. Right here. Right here. All right, there's a tailfish in front of us. Right here, he's doing it again. Four jumps now. Tailfish All right, is going on. slow and steady, everyone. Be slow and steady, everyone. Keep, keep it together. Six. Keep it together. See what happens. Bites may be turning on. We'll see. All right, we got a ton of line out on this bottom rig. We are now drifting. We still haven't caught a fish or even got a bite for that matter. And we had a couple baits die, and then um, when they die down, they, when they die, when you're bump trolling bunch of little fish start picking at them so that happened to a couple of our baits so we tried to switch up our tactics slow trolling is not working so we are drifting with lines out I've got a bait down on the bottom bottom fishing I'm hooked up to a fish actually so I'm bringing up a fish right now and uh, we have a flat line out with a pilchard we also have a couple other baits down sprayed out among the water column and uh, we are in 140 feet of water so let's just see what I've got and uh, we'll go from there. But I got a fish, yay. All right, I've got a fish on. It's nothing nothing uh, special over here. We call these crap fish, because when it's crap, they're called crap fish, because we can't do anything with them. And they're not good bait, nor can I eat them. So that's crap fish. I actually don't know the correct name for this fish. I really don't. He's really slimy. Oh, he's got stuff climbing out of him, actually. But uh, if you guys know the right, correct classification or name for the species, go ahead and comment below and let us know. Because um, I don't know his real name and I'm going to get rid of him and catch a real fish. Okay. 
That's at least something in the boat. Put that weight down. There we go. I'm getting wrapped from the leader. Here we go. All right, little short mutton here. We're gonna get them off right away and get them back in the water. And you can see he's kind of blown up from being so deep in the water. And uh, so we got to vent him as well on our, actually we're not going to vent this fish, we're going to use our sequelizer. And I've mentioned this in other videos as well, but the sequelizer is a decompression tool that we're going to attach to the lip of this mutton, drop him down to a depth, about half of the depth he came from, so he's 130 feet of water, so he's going to go down about 60 feet, and then uh, the clip is going to release, and he's going to swim off no problem, and he's not going to be blown up like this anymore. So we're going to do that right now. Right, we're not giving up. We're still trying to catch some fish. I just caught that little short mutton. We released them, no problem. If you're interested in looking for that sequelizer as well, I'll leave a link in the description for you to check it out. Uh, but it's really cool to save your fish. But also, I just want to go ahead and mention that I would like to thank my newest patrons on Patreon.com. I would like to thank Richard Nast, Bob, and Christopher with a K for supporting me on Patreon.com. And um, if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a like a tip jar for YouTubers. And if you like the content we create and you would like to help promote, uh, help support us, you can check out my Patreon site. And there's lots of good information there as well. Um, but you know, it's awesome doing this full time for for my full time job and having you guys there to back me up is just totally awesome. So I would really appreciate your support there. And um, you can also go ahead and support me on my website too, darcizzleoffshore.com. I sell a bunch of calendars and fish hook and anchor bracelets there. Um, and you could also just use my Amazon link too. My Amazon link is always in the description of every video. And basically it's your gateway to Amazon. And anything you buy after you click that link on Amazon, I get a small, small percentage of whatever purchase you made. So if you want to help me out for free, go ahead and do that. That would be awesome and support me. Um, other than that, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> well, nothing got going on about this fishing again. Yeah, the fishing's been a bummer. It's killing me. Um, but and as I mentioned, another way of we're trying to we're trying to really connect with you guys and give back a little bit is, and if you don't know, is our Wednesday uh, live meetups or seminars, and we're doing those every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Standard Time, live on YouTube. So uh, you know, so check that out. I think this week we're going to be talking about uh, about knots, I think, and you know, and, and and that's where you guys can ask us any questions you want. Uh, you know, you can pin questions to the top uh, for a dollar or two, uh, and uh, you know, and we can just uh, kind of hang out and do unboxing and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see you there on Wednesday, also, of course. We're cru cruising along the beach, and we're just headed back towards our inlet, looking for Kobe or anything that's around turtles, sharks, you name it. And literally, we just came across in 14 feet of water this big old 20 foot long piece of bamboo and you can tell it's been in the water for a long time because it's got a lot of growth all over it it's been just floating and drifting and if we were to find that offshore and like 20 30 miles out there would be some fish on that thing and that that's something you would that if you found that offshore you would be like so happy there would be all kinds of triple tail maybe mahi mahi maybe occasional wahoo uh, but we're in 14 feet, so there's nothing on this. But that just goes to show you that there's been an east wind for three days, northeast wind. Everything is getting pushed in close to the beach. So why can't we find that offshore one day? Hopefully one day. 20 foot long. Crazy.